Hey guys, Simcoder here, and today we are going to learn how we can uh, get the value that's owed to the driver. So, um, the payout that has to be made to the driver, um, and it is really simple. We are only going to add a few text fields and get some information from the database, and that's it. So, to know uh, uh, how much uh, the driver is owed, we go to the database and we look in the history tab for the the rights that have a customer paid equals to true because that means that the money is on our side and that we can actually pay out the driver so for example let me open up this one so this one doesn't have a customer paid so we are going to skip this and forget that it exists we are only going to get the drives, the rights that have customers paid equals true. Then we are going to get the distance and calculate uh, the driver's percentage from there. And uh, yeah, so that's it uh, to calculate the driver's percentage. Uh, as you may remember, uh, the customer has to pay the distance times uh, 0 0.5. That's my calculation. That's what I chose to go with. You can choose whatever you want. And for the, the driver, I'm going to do the same, but instead of being times uh, 0 0.5, it's going to be times 0 0.4. That way, we as a company can take the cuts uh, that's owed to us. So let's close this up and open up the Android Studio. And one more thing, let me just know uh, in the comment section if you rather this white background uh, or the black one that I normally use because it is easier on the eye for me when I have long pro programming sessions. But if you feel like this is easier to, to read, then let me know and I'll start using this white background from now on. So yeah, let's get uh, right on with it. And the first thing that we gotta do is to go into activity history dot xml and change the layout a bit we are going to add a tab here for the payouts the finances so first of all i'm going to change this for a linear layout it makes a lot more sen uh, sense so change that linear layouts okay and we are going to place uh, the finances uh, right above the message scroll view so i'm just going to add I'm actually going to remove this linear layout from here so that the nice that scroll view stops being included in that. Okay. Oh, I forgot to set the orientation. So orientation set to vertical. There we go. And now I'm going to set the text view to match parent wrap content text. It's going to be balance two points mm, just so that we know how it looks like. Okay, it looks fine. Padding top, I uh, can set the padding overall. So one ESP maybe. Okay, and one more thing uh, this balance is what's owed to the, the driver. So uh, when uh, we finish paying the driver, we must. I also add a, a child here, let's say driver payout, to so that we know that that right has already been paid out to the driver and so that we don't pay twice or three times, so that way the system would be abused. But if we add that child and make sure it is equal to null, uh, which is the same thing as saying it doesn't exist, then we know when not to pay the driver for the drive that has already been paid out. So that's everything that I wanted to tell you guys. So let's just add the ID, say balance. Okay, let's go into history activity. And in here, the first thing that we are going to do is obviously to add the, the text view. So private text view, my balance. And uh, we'll add a double variable for the balance because we'll need that to add up as uh, whenever we find a, a ride that has to be pay paid out. So balance equals to 0 0.0. Okay, that's everything. Let me just give some space there and there. 
And one one other thing that has to that you have to be careful about is that the balance is only shown when it is a driver. Okay, so don't uh, we must not forget that, otherwise the customer will be able to see how much it is paid out to the driver, and you don't want that. So mbalance dot find view by id or dot id dot balance. Okay, and now we say if uh, I'm, s I'm not one. I don't want an if here. Huh. Let me just think about something. Oh, okay. I it can go here. So if customer or driver. Let me just make this a tiny bit bigger. Customer or driver equals to drivers then we can go ahead and set the visibility of mbalance to true set visibility visible okay and let's set in here to uh, visibility gone okay uh -huh. and I'm actually going to pass this padding on to the text view so that it completely disappears when this text view uh, visibility is gone so now we can go on to the fetch write information and it is in here that I'm going to make the calculation for that and one, one thing is that I, I used to have a for for uh, this data snapshot but I changed it into an if because it is easier and less uh, claustrophobic uh, the code is obviously so if you want you can change it otherwise you don't it is completely up to you so in here we are going to need a couple of variables just as we did in the history single activity when calculating the the price so you are going to need the distance double right price and we are going to initiate these variables just to make sure they are clean 0.0, .0. And I believe I initiate. Okay, I initiated that, so we can. We are good to go. I'm going to grab this, copy it here, and now we are going to check if. Uh, let me just clear that up. If the um, customer page exists, so if it is different from null, then we know already that the customer has paid because when it, uh, the customer hasn't this child doesn't exist so it doesn't matter if it is true false we set it to true so we know that exists that's all that matters and if the uh, driver paid out child uh, doesn't exist it as i've said previously it cannot exist otherwise we have already paid the, uh, the driver and we don't want to pay it two times so if customer paid paid customer different from null and let's copy this data snapshot uh, driver paid out equals to null so if this doesn't exist then we can go ahead and say uh, copy again actually clear that up if data snapshot shall dot distance dot get value I was forgetting this so add the get value otherwise it can give a, a no a no object object so get value in all of this uh, different uh, distance is different from no then we can go ahead and get the distance so data snapshot dot shell distance dot get value dot to string and we are going to set uh, the right price to as just as we did in the um, history single activity to equals to double dot value of distance times 0 0.4 
as I've said, in the history single activity you do times 0 0.5, but in order for us to take a cut of the, the driver's ride, we just make it smaller uh, in here, so 0 0.4. Now we add up the balance times equal to ride price, and we set the end balance tax to the most, most updated balance. Uh, this isn't the best way to do it in the sense that it will always be updating the text view. Uh, so if you have a lot of, of rides it may become a problem, but because it is relatively fast and so that we don't have to calculate how, much, how many childs there are and how close we are to finish uh, these listeners, I'm just going to do this because it is uh, much easier. So string dot value of balance plus and we'll add the not euro yeah you can euro or dollars it doesn't really matter it can be this so okay let me just add a space there and there we go I believe we are all done yeah so let's just test the app and see if everything checked out so let's do this. Oh, actually, you can add uh, a surprise wind here because it doesn't like that we are adding uh, strings inside here. So just click Alt, Enter, Enter, and it will add this line right here. So yeah, it is just so that the the yellow things d disappear. So let's run the app and see if everything checks out. Uh, oops, so I forgot something. We must add the history button because I, I did in my uh, template project, but I didn't change it here. So let's take care of that now. So go inside driver map activity and activity driver map and customer uh, uh, customer map and just copy the up top the history button and paste it in the driver uh, map yeah weight is fine uh, so let's go inside the driver map activity and open up the customer map act activity as well and just copy and paste the history button so ham history driver map activity just add it here and just copy everything else. So the button, the find view by ID, can add it here. And finally, the history set on click listen. Driver map activity, let's go below. And in here, instead of being customer map activity, it is driver map activity. And instead of passing uh, customers, you pass on the drivers. So yeah, that's it. Uh, now we can actually go ahead and run the app and it should be fine. So the app finished loading and it isn't, doesn't look that good, but uh, we'll, that can be worked on. So let's go into history. And as you can see, the balance appears just fine. Uh, so yeah, nothing to worry about. So yeah. That's all for now. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And you click the bell button uh, so that you are notified whenever I release a video so that you can work on your app as fast as possible with no worries at all. Uh, again, let me know in the comment section what you think about these colors right here. If they work for you, if you feel you can read better. So yeah, thank you all very much for watching and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Ciao!